What is happening guys? Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you dig this video, make sure you hit the like button. We're going to talk about a topic. Some people might think that it's silly, but and they might already know this, but I can't tell you how many times I've seen a guy who has just bought an N4 Vintage pop up in a Facebook group or a forum and say, hey, I just bought an N4 and the bridge pickup is missing the height adjustment screws on it. You see where those little holes are? See how this one's got the little screws there where you can actually adjust the height of the neck pickup up and down? And they think that they're just missing. So people like myself normally chime in and say, hey, buddy, you got an N4 vintage there. They're actually mounted through the back of the guitar. There's these two screws that go through the body of the guitar and they screw into the bottom of the pickup. Then the second question always is, well, how do you adjust the height of the pickup on one of these? So, and a lot of people chime in, they say, oh, you can't adjust it. It just screws in and it is where it is. And to be honest with you, the tolerances on these guitars where they build them and the actual bridge pickup cavity is cut to where it should line up right. But if you like your action a little bit higher, you like it a little bit lower, or, you know, say that uh, something's not lining up right and you do want to adjust this pickup, there is an easy way to do it. You know, normally people would, would tell you, take those screws out the back and just put the normal mounting um, springs and screws in there and just do it the, the normal way. But let me tell you how to do it. So basically, take that, like if you wanted to, to adjust the low E side, you want to take that screw out or just kind of get it completely loose to where it's, you know, all you got to do is put a screwdriver to it and screw it back in. So <clears throat> when you take it out, it's going to make, uh, this pickup here It's gonna make it loose to where you can actually take your hand and push it up or down So basically what I did was I just pulled the pickup up a little bit because the pickup was uh, just just a little too low for my taste So I took the pickup and I pulled it up to where I thought it should line up with uh, you know where I thought it should line up and uh once I did that, I just put the screw in there and screwed it in there and you want to screw it enough to where it locks into that pickup, but doesn't pull it down. And that's pretty much how you do it. You know, take the pickup, take the screw out, uh, kind of set the pickup about where you want it, put the screw back in, tighten it up. I mean, screw it in to where, you know, and you can see this one here. I could, I could probably, you know, screw this one in an extra half a turn or a complete turn. But what it's going to do is it's going to pull this pickup down. So you don't have to do that. Like I said, you just screw it in um, to where it just locks the pickup in place, where you're holding it and where it's at. So there is an adjustment. Uh, worked really well for me. Just wanted to share that with everybody because I can't tell you how many times I've seen people say there's no adjustment to it. Hope this video was helpful. Um, if you ever have a question about an N4, feel free to hit me up. I had a guy hit me up today with some pictures saying, hey, I got offered this N4 for a certain price and I looked at it and could tell immediately that it was one of these DH gate uh, Chinese fakes. Uh, it was the wrong wood grain. It was the wrong tremolo. I mean, just and the headstock wasn't shaped right. The Washburn logo was crooked. Uh, another thing is uh, always look at the, uh, the back plates on the back of the guitar. Uh, they don't really have a machine to make them for their fake in fours. So what they do is they have to cut them by hand and they're normally very, very sloppy. And some of them are actually sitting on top of the wood. They don't even, you know, carve the body out. Uh, so they're normally really, really super easy to, uh, to, to, to notice if they're a fake. But anyway, just wanted to share that with everybody. I appreciate, you know, I have people hit me up all the time with questions on in fours and stuff. And I really, really, uh, Love talking to people about these guitars. Uh, this is the one that used to belong to um, Mike from uh, Darkest Hour. And uh, I thought this was going to be a fixer-upper and thought I might sell it. But uh, it has just turned into probably my favorite N4 that I've ever owned outside of the, the 901 that we sold to Nuno. And um, it's just a really, really cool guitar. It is a you know Davies 2.0 
Uh, and it's a 2008 model, which makes what makes that so cool is they didn't start making a Davies 2.0 until 2009. So this guitar is 100% pre-production. Uh, I think they knew that they were um, going to be making these. It's got the uh, 2.0 neck and the 2.0 uh, cavity covers on it. The only thing that it doesn't have that's 2.0, I don't think they really figured out they were going to do that, was the, the jack on it. They didn't put the barrel jack on it. Um, but outside of that, that's what it is. Really cool super guitar. I've got a couple uh, more parts coming for it to make it just 100% badass. And then I'm going to make another big follow-up video with a bunch of details and a bunch of stuff that Mike shared with me about the guitar. I'm going to put that all in one big video. But thank you for checking this one out. I know there's a bunch of uh, N4 Vintage owners out there that uh, this might help. So, uh, you know, maybe somebody will see this video when they're trying to, when they notice that they don't have any adjustment screws there and they're on the internet trying to figure out why. I hope this video helps you out. And I hope this video helps everybody out as far as, you know, knowing how to adjust these bridge pickups. And uh, we will definitely see you next time. Thank you for watching.